Millionaires of Reddit. How did you become so wealthy? Haven't received my million yet, but my new Nigerian prince friend is going to call me with directions after I send him some of my bank info to make the transfer. In my 20s, I was a computer programmer just as the web started exploding in popularity. I could wire up websites and databases back when internet technologies were new, and tooling was still primitive. I never hit it big with a viral website like Facebook or Amazon, but I did charge a lot for programming services, and I used that money to buy houses at first, and ultimately an apartment building in coastal California. In my 40s now, I don't feel very wealthy really. Oddly, I still check prices when shopping, and I plan to drive my old jeep until it dies. When I travel, I often pay to fly first class, and I do enjoy the nicer hotels. But, other than that, I live, and spend, rather simply. Same here. Started at a late 90s era.com. We went public and I was suddenly worth 8 figures in my 20s. Cashed out before the crash. Always saved up a lot of money, 40% of my pay, and continually put it into stocks. Investment returns have outdone my savings for quite a while. Well, last year my fianke's grandparents won a stupid amount of money in the lotto, double digit millions. They were generous enough to share with the family. I grew up below the poverty line so my life is nuts rn. If Reddit had taught me one thing. You should never win the lotto and tell anybody else, especially family. But glad for you dude and please don't kill your fiancé and or grandparents. I enlisted in the army when I was 18. I liked it. I asked to become an officer, and they let me. The army sent me to college and I graduated. My officer pay was way higher and in the army you don't have very many bills. I found I could save in between 1k and 5k every month of my life. After my second deployment I was sitting on about 200k. I hired a financial manager. He did well a few years. I've bought and rented out a couple houses. I've got 17 years in the army. Creeping closer to a portfolio worth $2 million and a good pension in retirement. I'm about to make lieutenant colonel. I'm in my late 30s. Just grind and save. I live in Eastern Europe. In 1990 I took out a huge loan and bought 10 apartments and furnished them. I rent them out to people and with the money I earn from them I pay off the loan payments. I do this every 10 years. I have now 30 apartments and one employee who I pay to maintain them and make sure payments and maintenance is handled. The key is finding good tenants and maintaining a good relationship with them. It is not that hard but a key to this strategy. Ha! Huh, good reads continues to spend 97% of free time browsing internet and spending my extra $100 a month on fast food and video games. Honestly, it's not so bad living this way. I'm not a millionaire, or even rich, and I don't have big dreams or ambition, but I'm so freaking happy with my life. I go to work, study in college and then chill at home with video games and free time. I used to run an apple cart in NYC, would buy an apple for 5c and sell it for 10c. Did this for 20 years, then my wife's father died and left us a chain of hotels. I sell overpriced consultancy time to CTOs who don't know any beta. Well I mean technically you get a consultant in the first place because you don't know any better. I am on track of being a millionaire by just investing in my 401k. I started my career at 20 years old right after graduating from college and started investing the minimum to my 401k. Never really thought much of it until I did those calculators and realized that since I started so young the compound interest on any investment account with a decent return would be huge. I would recommend you just put anything away. Everyone tells you to max your investments but honestly not everyone can invest $18k a year. Do the math of how much $200 a month will grow in 30 years. This might not be the exact answer but this will easily get you to be a millionaire at some point. Please send me one pound. When a million people have sent their pound I will be able to answer this question. This is exactly it. Ask one person to give you 1 million pounds and he'll tell you to pee off. Ask one meter people to give you 1 pound and you are much more likely to be successful. I actually hit big at a casino a while back. Not enough where I can afford to quit my job and buy a mansion. But I'm comfy and so will my son be. Parents died. It turns out you were always a millionaire. 
Be right back buying a lotto ticket for Thursday. We'll let you fellas ladies know how I go. Through hard work and perseverance I established a reputation for honesty and competence. I was slowly promoted to increasing positions of responsibility and remuneration. I saved prodigiously and invested wisely. I married well to someone with similar values. This is the TLDR of this entire thread. Well sir, I step in front of cars and sue the drivers. Found Jean Ralphio. You logs. There's always one guy in every thread. Converted all of my money into Zimbabwean dollars. Brilliant. I just printed 5 bucks it was hella easy. We have such an inflation problem I'm worth several billion. Being frugal. Not buying new cars. Not caring about what others think. Saving and investing and doing it again. Not making knee jerk investments. Letting them ride long term and not freaking out at every market correction. For me it was a slow game. But fun to watch it take off. The stock market is a tool for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. We got some advice here for the UK. Lots of 401k talk, which isn't all that useful over here. Save and invest. 401k is just a vehicle, albeit a nice tax deferred vehicle, and has a maximum annual contribution of something like $18,000 anyway. Not me but my family. My dad was pee poor as a kid because he was one of five kids to a single mother since my grandpa died when dad was like 11 or 12. But moved out at 17 after getting his HSE. Aussie sats. Went to work. Worked a lot. My dad's really smart so he was good at what he did. Mum and dad weren't meant to be able to have kids, but when both of them were 40 they conceived me. Dad had just started his own business in the tech industry, but he believed in himself and the two mates he started the company with and it boomed. Mum hasn't worked since I was born because she was taking care of me. When I went to school she started doing a lot of charity work. She fell pregnant again with my little brother but he was stillborn when I was 3 years old so I stayed an only child. This year both my parents turned 60 and my dad retired cause his business is, and was, doing so well. We live in a nice house but most of our money goes to charity anyway, since dad knows how it feels to have no money. What doesn't go to charity goes to family. I remember one year at Christmas dad gave his mum, my nana, and all four of his siblings $10,000 each, aka $50,000 in one year. I never asked for money, I got to job legally as soon as I could, 14 and 9 months, and I've worked ever since while attending school. I think my dad gave me good work ethics, they never spoiled me even though they could have. I'm 21 now, I still live at home, uni, and just started my first full time job. But I plan to move out when I find a place I can take my dog with me. So technically my mum and dad are millionaires. I'm not. It's not my money. And when mum and dad pass I'll probably divide it up among the family charity. Going to a private high school taught me money doesn't buy you happiness. So I don't have any interest in keeping more than enough to be comfortable. I wouldn't have even thought about inheritance but I was forced to cause my dad had two heart attacks this year and his dad. And his dad's dad both died of heart attacks in their 30s. Not that anyone cares. But he's doing way better now. A few stents in and a lot of rehabilitation and he's almost back to normal. Search is this thread for a sugar daddy. I can be your splendor daddy. Not there yet but getting there. STEM degree for both wife and I. I bag my lunch and drink from water fountain. I eat out with co-workers maybe once a month. Fill up my trusty clean canteen bottle daily with the free ice from cafeteria and water from the water fountain. In my lower 30s right now. Have a $500 K house. Bought 2 years ago. About 40% paid off. Hope to pay it off completely well before I turn 40. Currently about $350 K in bank between liquid and stocks. Currently driving a 9 year old Scion. Wife has a 13 year old Camry. Daughter's toys are from the thrift store. Haven't had cable TV ever. Love Costco and Walmart. Love looking at deal sites. That doesn't mean we do not enjoy life. We've been backpacking in Europe. Have visited Dubai. Bahamas. Bermuda. Utoroko. Vegas numerous times. Canada numerous times. Going to Cali in less than a month. My philosophy is this. You get rich by acting poor in things that really don't please your heart. We like traveling. 
so we do that. I like photography, so I have a DSLR. Wife likes nail polish, so she has like a big box full of them. I don't care much about food, so I bag it and we rarely eat out. Same with our cars. Life simply, invest and spend wisely, love unconditionally. Is millionaire defined by assets? Because I just qualify based on the value of my property but I'm crap poor in terms of cash flow. I have always been very frugal and save significantly more than anyone else I know. Bought a property at the age of 23 which appreciated in value by a significant amount. However, I am just barely paying off the loan so I'm poor as frick. Assets minus liabilities. You are probably still poor. Be willing to move anywhere for your job. Most big companies are looking for competent people who can go where they need them. Be that person and the money follows effortlessly. STEM degree and minimalism. My econ professor uses a prepaid phone the cheapest plan you can get. I opened an avocado toast food truck. The old fashioned way. Great grandparents helped build a city. Got a degree in finance. Became a financial advisor. Worked my butt off. I sold 18% of my company for a large sum of money and we worked together to expand. He asked how you got rich, not how you got more rich. Get out of and stay out of debt. Live within your means and spend save give your money on purpose. Make and stick to a budget planned ahead of time. Save for retirements from your very first job. Work every job with excellence and look for ways to go above and beyond to serve others, and you'll be rewarded with raises and more opportunities to do so with more responsibility. If you are in your 20s you might want to look up the term compound interest. In your 20s it is possible to put money away for some time. Stop funding and retire a millionaire. The most difficult part of the entire thing is pretending like the money doesn't exist when times get tough. Yep, yeah, it's a shame compounding interest becomes illegal after 29. The real question is, why do wealthy people live like they are poor, and poor people live like they are wealthy? Poor people chase a feeling, wealthy people chase a goal. My first million was the hardest to attain. It took me a good 10 to 15 years to find the perfect bank near the highway, a safe cracker that's not a complete freaking idiot and an inside man that's not going to fold under a little bit of stress. Once I got my perfect team, getting the million was easy. The second was easier now that I got some experience under my belt. Honestly that's how I'm going to do it. If not I'm going to work as a software developer of some kind. Self-made. Cracked the first 1 million dollars just after 33 sometime. Then the next few came quickly. The best advice is to build capital early. I scrimped and saved and had my first car till I was 30 and it totally shat itself. Didn't waste money on holidays or any expenditure that wasn't 100% necessary. Holidays consisted just of time of work and going to beach or doing fun free things. So once I had a little nest egg 10k dollars I got a house and every time I had a spare 50 dollars put it against the mortgage. Then every time I got to pay rise the difference went to the mortgage. Not to increase in lifestyle. I'm 45 now and saving becomes less of a priority as the base capital is there. I can spend every cent I earn and my base will still increase. Summary. Get saving early. What car and what clothes you wear don't change who you are. Holidays consisted just of time of work and going to beach or doing fun free things. No thanks I am only young once. I was born. It all came from my parents. I get a lot of crap from my friends in college lol. My parents on the other hand went from living in lower middle class India. Born in late 50s so basically studying hard and family bonds were what kept them going. Came to California for masters and PhD. And worked for massive tech companies for about 30 years. My dad went up to executive director or something. They invested a lot of money and bought houses in India and rented them out. The house they bought here in California went from 1.1 million dollars to about 3.5 million dollars. I took the easy route and I'm in denial over being poor. Bought a genuine 100 trillion dollar Zimbabwean banknote off eBay for 8 dollars. I actually just had 30 trillion delivered. Unfortunately, they switched to USD in 2008. We were bamboozled. You have been visited by the sleeping Italian. Comment sleep tight lil guido for nice spaghetti and meatball dreams all night. If you comment keep fighting, papa.
If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.